Let's talk about Cruella. A new Disney trailer for Cruella premiered and it's starting heat right from the gate. This is unbelievable. Now, I've seen the trailer several times since it premiered, as I'm sure you did as well, so instead of watching it with you guys, let's analyze it. I've got a notification on my phone that the Cruella trailer is out. I got so excited that I rushed home to watch it. I even got my snacks for less than 2 minutes of trailer. That's how excited I was. I didn't know what to expect. Emma Stone looked great on that uh, teaser shot from more than a year ago. I didn't want to get much into overthinking and raising my expectations, but it looked great. Fast forward to today. So I'm watching the trailer and watching it and watching it and nothing is going on. I'm not getting it. I don't understand what's it about. I know it's an origin story. That I knew from the start, ever since they start talking about it in 2019. And this trailer didn't give me anything new considering the story. I'm very confused with this trailer. Very confused. But let's start from the beginning. One of my favorite Disney movies, including animated movies, is live action 101 Dalmatians from 1996, which was an adaptation of Disney classic from 1961 which was an adaptation of 1956 novel. 1996 movie is such a Disney masterpiece that a new adaptation of that movie would be such a wrong move that even Disney realized that. I mean, Glenn Close is magnificent in the role of Cruella de Vil. She is Cruella. It's one of those roles that no matter how great the actor was before and after that, it defines their career. Same like Angelina Jolie with Maleficent. On that note, I wasn't thrilled with the casting of Emma Stone for the role. She's a fantastic actress and I love her work very much, but playing Disney villain is something only a few can do. One needs a distinct look and character to pull that off, like Glenn Close, Jolie and Kate Blanchett did, and my doubts were right, judging by this trailer. She doesn't look grand enough in it. The first time watching the trailer left me confused with the story and underwhelmed with the visuals. So I decided to watch it again. The second time, knowing what I'm getting, left me interested but confused. Something was wrong and I couldn't put my finger on it. After watching it for the third time, I realized what's bothering me. It's the darkness of the trailer. And I don't mean just the darkness as a visual, but the trailer's tone and the implied story were dark as hell. This trailer woke unpleasant feelings in me. Full of angry dogs, murder weapons, bats, explosions, drug addict looking characters. This is totally the opposite of what Disney movies should do. Cruella is a dark character. She skins puppies for coats. But she's a very glamorous over the top character. She's supposed to live in a fashion world that is dazzling and colorful. I understand that this is an origin story. She is still not rich and powerful but you can't change character that much. This is entirely different Cruella. This is not Glenn Close Cruella's origin. I was honestly thinking, watching it for the third time, that this is a Christopher Nolan's Batman. Dark and gritty. This is nothing like a Disney movie. Maybe some people like that, but I was never a big fan of all dark take on superhero movie. Not to mention a Disney movie. So I continued my daily chores around the house thinking I need some time to process this before making a video about it. Maybe it was me. Maybe it wasn't dark. A few hours later, I'm scrolling through my Facebook feed and seeing that one of my friends commented on the trailer posted on some page. This friend has no interest in superhero movies or movies in general. He thinks superhero movies are stupid and movies are just casual, occasional entertainment. So his comment on the trailer was, Oh, it's Harley Quinn of dogs. I laughed at first at this comment, and while I was scrolling down to reply, this is nothing like Harley Quinn, and that he doesn't know what he's talking about, I saw an endless line of other people's comments saying exactly the same thing, comparing this to Harley Quinn. My mind was blown. Another friend said it's like a Joker movie, but he's still very excited to see it. Then, I go to YouTube and my feed was full of reaction videos comparing Cruella to Joker and Harley Quinn. Now, I watch some of them. Most of the people are just confused with the tone of this trailer. 
and a few are just plain hate for Disney, in general. Some people purposely and joyfully putting down Cruella. This is nothing new on social media. And I respect if someone doesn't like something, or if something reminds them of something else. I'm like that as well. People are not just comparing Cruella to Harley Quinn or Joker, they calling it a ripoff. I personally don't see Cruella as a Harley Quinn ripoff. Who would rip off Harley Quinn? Let's be serious. It wasn't good. Birds of Prey was a failure with both critics and the audience, but it does remind me of some other movies. I don't think it's a ripoff, but it reminds me of Christopher Nolan's Batman movies. And I don't like that. I didn't like the trailer. To me, it looks like a mix of Christopher Nolan and Tim Burton Batman movies, although it leans towards Nolan a little bit more. Maybe Disney considered the success of Dark Knight and went for the similar tone. But this is completely off-brand for both Disney and Cruella. Know your audience, Disney. Batman can go there because the character and the story behind it are dark. It was on-brand. The main issue here is that people like my friends, who are part of the general audience, which decides if some movie is worth their money and time, see this as a copy of Harley Quinn and Joker. That should be the main concern for Disney. I don't know why Disney went in this direction, but they did, with confused audience and bitter influencers spreading hate like a forest fire, this movie is doomed from the start. Not even a fabulous Emma Thompson, which by the way I didn't recognize in the trailer, that's how good she is, will be able to save this movie. Emma Thompson would be a perfect villain. That's the type of actress I'm talking about. And I can bet that she will steal the movie from Emma Stone in all the scenes. With all this being said, I will definitely watch this movie. I believe it will be one of the trademark movies of 2021 and probably not in a good way. The release date in theaters is in May, which is also when Black Widow and Free Guy are supposed to come out. But something is telling me that this movie may go directly to streaming or on Disney Plus after this backlash. How do you guys feel about this trailer? Feel free to share your opinion in the comments. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos that are coming very soon. See you later.